Hello, welcome or welcome back to another video, today I wanted to talk about the song 11 by Ive. I don't think that I've ever been so obsessed with a debut track. I don't know what they put in the music but it had me hooked. The more I listened to it the more I found new reasons to love it. The song is truly infectious, the opening instrumentals are just so attention grabbing. And then the lines come in. I don't know how to explain it, but Liz and Licio's opening lines just sink into the beat. And then Wan Young graces us with her light voice when she starts the pre-chorus. Then REI comes along and slows down the back half of the pre-chorus ejecting us into the chorus where Eugen picks up and powerfully delivers her lines. The way that the pre-chorus slows the song and the chorus comes back in with a punch, speeding things up, is truly the highlight of the entire song. And then Gi Yul gives us the iconic Oh My, Oh My God line. The song is about a girl that is falling in love with someone and that person makes them feel like 11. Usually when we rate things we rate on a scale from 1 to 10 and they sing the lines you make me feel like 11 so I took it as the person making them feel so happy and in love that this feeling goes beyond the highest number on the scale. The person doesn't make them feel like a 10 but an 11. I also read a comment on TikTok explaining how the lines were written to sound like you make me feel like heaven, swapping out the word heaven for 11. I love that people are coming up with their own interpretations of the line and the song. While it's fun to make our own theories, REI gave a clear explanation behind the song's meaning. When asked about the meaning of the song during their debut showcase REI explained that in soccer a team is comprised of 11 players which could be referred to as the best 11 or the best 11 players making up a team. So I've plans on showing up on the scene as the best team they want. To prove that they are the best of the best through their teamwork. Something else that I noticed is the use of colors in the lyrics, to express their emotions. The first time I noticed it was in the pre-chorus when Wan Young sings the lines something that blooms inside of me, blue these emotions I'm feeling right now are true not only is this line cute, but it rhymes too. They also incorporate colors in the second pre-chorus when Licio sings the lines I didn't know if anyone could dare to make my heart race I didn't know my heart was so colorful the line I didn't know my heart was so colorful is such a creative way to express the feelings of the heart when in love. Instead of using stereotypical tropes to write about the heart, they wrote about the heart blooming with colors to express love. And can we take a moment to appreciate the bridge? I think that the bridge is the hardest part of a song to write and the most overlooked section. The bridge is the chance for the writer to change the mood of the song and shake things up a little. While the lyrics of the bridge may be simple they do their job just right. And the vocal delivery that Wan Young, REI, and Eugene give the bridge makes it special. Wan Young sings the lines don't say now don't rush over I like this moment with these lines, she tells her lover that she doesn't want to rush this moment. She wants to soak up each and every moment with this person. The love she feels is precious and is something that she wants to savor for a long time. She may be experiencing love for the first time or a truly intense type of love, and it's something that she never wants to forget. This song is a perfect example of how something so simple can have a strong impact. The song does a lot with a little. The bare bones of the instrumental mixed with the group's stellar vocal delivery made this song a hit. They sang all the right notes in all the right places and had good lyrics to back it up. I appreciate that the producers didn't feel the need to be overly ambitious with their production, because like I said earlier the simplest things can make a huge impact. They gave room for the girls' vocals to shine, which was a smart decision. The song wasn't too much, or too little, but it was just right. Dare I say it, this was an iconic debut. Resident Mo Army signing off.